Starting next year, Bank of America will charge a small number of customers an annual fee ranging from $29 to $99. Now, cardholders who have never carried a balance or paid late fees could be among those affected. You cannot be serious! Yeah, if you do the right thing, you're going to get penalized by being charged because Citigroup has started charging annual fees to cardholders who don't put more than a specific amount of money on their cards. Other banks are charging inactivity fees if customers don't use their credit cards during specific time periods. Essentially, you're going to get fined for staying out of debt. Carmen Wong Ulrich is she's also the host of CNBC's On the Money. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her right out of Martell Across America. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for being a part of the show today. Thanks for having me. You know, let's talk about how this is going to affect the bottom line of so many people out there. You know, and I hate to use this silly term that they're all using out here about Wall Street, Main Street, but Main Street's going to be hurting from this. Oh, big time. I mean, I'm Main Street, and I tell you, I've already been hurting. I've had cards closed for inactivity. I've had interest rates raised, and I pay off my balance every month. So this is a new culture where we've got even the best credit card users, the folks who don't carry balance, who stay out of debt, we're now going to have to pay for the privilege of having credit. And you know what? It is actually a privilege. I think we forgot that because credit was flowing so easily. So now we're understanding that this may be the new normal. We may not be able to avoid it. Could this be a blessing in disguise? Because for some people, they'll stop going out and getting 15 different credit cards and running up the balances if they had to pay an annual fee for every one of them. Really, I mean, it's real. It's not a blessing only because you know what? Like myself and like a lot of other people out there, the majority of credit card users are responsible credit card users. We use our cards for convenience sake or because you get points or rewards. So that's what you're you're, you're looking to do. And I don't want to get punished for it. Now, don't forget the credit card issuers. They used to make they make money off of us as well, even though we pay off our bills. They actually make money off the merchant. So the merchant pays a fee every time you swipe that card. It's not like we don't make them any money because we don't carry a balance. So it's just that right now they need to do everything they can to firm up their bottom line and before the CARD Act goes into effect in February. And you know what, Montel? It's October. We've got a couple months to go. I think it's going to get uglier. No, it's not just about credit cards. Even banks are doing this for things like your savings account, right, Mike? Mike had a – wait, wait, wait. you got to listen to Mike Apelko, who's you know, <laughs> the executive producer here. But listen, is Mike Teller. I opened a bank account in uh, at Wachovia, and I just put money away to save it. Six months later, I got a note saying you're about to be charged a dormancy fee. Ah, dormancy, inactivity. We are getting charged every single fee you can, you can imagine. I just got started getting charged a monthly maintenance fee when I didn't before. We have to... Wait a minute, but Carmen, hold on. Wait yeah. a minute. Now, look, I, I give you my money. You're the bank. You take <laughs> exactly. my money. You make interest on my money. Exactly. But now you're going to charge me for giving you my money to help you make money? And you know what they say? They say, you know what? We're not making enough money off of your money. And that is the new norm. And you know what? It really, really stinks for us. It really does. For Main Street, for everyone who's responsible. And the only thing we can do is shop around and move our money to where people treat us better, which right now, for the most part, are credit unions. Credit unions are making a ton in this recession because they didn't expose themselves to all the craziness that the big banks did. So they can still offer really competitive rates. Rates. They don't go crazy with fees. Not everybody can join a credit union, but there's just where your money should be and even credit cards, too. 